Monacy was supposed to be the next simple. Like I, yeah, I said this yeah. on Twitter and people were so. kind of arguing with me because they think simple flicking super yeah. fast is the same thing. What I'm talking about is him seeing information on the screen and reacting to it. Like the, yes, the yes. first moment that he starts to adjust, like that's faster than anybody I've seen, I think. This guy is a guy that you'd face him and face it and you think, Oh my God, this kid is a mother effing cheater. There's no way you can be that good being 16 years of age. The young prodigy's pro journey started on Navi Jr. And he resembled the goat on the server and off so much, it seemed like a future playing alongside him as teammates was the logical next step. But Monacy decided to forge his own path. And before long, he began to look like the real future of Counter-Strike. Yeah, he does it the best, Sasha. Bonacy is in a lot of trouble. He no scopes one of them. He keeps going. Ten seconds. He fakes the bomb. Oh. Spins around. Takes down Woody. And now he's at the hut. Running up close and personal. Oh, oh what a flick! Get he it. doesn't have the time for the Surely. Time. No, he just can't give do it to him. Oh, yes. How is that possible? What an absolutely godlike sequence from Monacy. Now there is a Molotov on Turtle. He's gonna throw it. It's not deep enough. Monacy still could have the shot. Oh, and there it is. One of the best clutches we've seen. But it travels into the site. One on two for Monacy now. It's sacrificial. Gives his position away. He wants Monacy's end goal. This is the story of Monacy. Anyone who's even remotely familiar with FPS esports knows who Simple is. He's a generational talent and his prowess in the server is unmatched. What well, is a smoke up? Simple sword of foot, that's enough. To get a quick shot onto Zorte and he'll continue to hunt then. Pistols continue to dance around. Shalfi carrying the ball. Oh, that's the last one of the crash. Oh, and he spotted the shoulder. Simple with the 4K grotesque shots. He loves that. Time and again, the Ukrainian superstar has proven that he was the real deal. No imitations accepted. That is, until people began to call a certain 14-year-old the next simple. He has a profile of Ashel TV, he has 14 years old, rating 1.18, if you know, it's almost like a simple. So where exactly did this melon-popping wonderkind come from? Ilya Monasi Osipov was born in the industrial town of Orehovo Zuyevo near Moscow, Russia on May 1st, 2005. His older brother first introduced him to gaming when Monasi was around five or six years old. And CS 1.6 really struck a chord. Ну, у меня брат играл в 1.6, ну, увлекался. Ездил на какие-то турниры, на ланы. Ну, я за этим следил, когда он играл дома. И потихоньку тоже играл, пока когда он не был дома дома, там гулял, например, я играл. Вот. Then shortly after Monacy's seventh birthday in 2012, Global Offensive came out. And even though Monacy also spent a lot of time playing games like Dota 2, CSGO was the game that changed his destiny. Monacy was Global Elite by age 10, top level on Face It by the time he was 12, and doing incredible things on the server at 13. By the time he turned 14, Monacy had about 3,800 face at ELO to his name. He spent his free time playing in amateur events and slowly built a reputation as one of the most fearsome young players the game has ever had. Despite his obvious talent, because he wasn't 16 yet, Monacy couldn't exactly go pro quite yet. But he was offered the next best thing. Legendary Ukrainian org Navi, home to the GOAT himself, Simple, offered Monacy a spot in their newly established academy roster, Navi Jr. And he was off to a great start. Are you holding it? I'm holding it. Wait, I pick slow. Oh, one is in connector, in connector, going jungle, my f***ing Monessi is monessing a star, bench, bench, bench. Look at this, do you have eyes? This is unbelievable. This kid's like 10 years old, man. This is crazy. 16 years old, and uh, people are like, oh, these teams are dog. It's like, dude. He went 30 and 5, man. What set Monacy apart from the rest of the roster was the fact that he didn't come from Navi's esports prospect bootcamp. 
Instead, he got a direct invite from the coach, and he was younger than basically everyone else. Ну, писали, что вот вот какой-то парень, 14-летний школьник, не проходил вот этот Нави Sports Camp, и ну это было сначала, когда уже был анонс, что я в Нави Junior. Still, no matter what the haters said, Monacy was determined to make the most of the opportunity. Monacy is still on the A side. They've got to deal with him first and foremost, and that's not going to be easy. Nick dead, out ramp. Ah, Monacy gets the kill. And now a two on one, really a one on one. The Monacy is up for the job. Ah, uh, getting jumped what? at. Not even dying. This guy is just Look at this, look deleted. at this. That shot incredulous, right? Sheesh. That is already crazy enough. And then he keeps re-peeking into every one of oh. these fights. Like, look at this 4K. That is Phil. There's going to be a peek coming forward. However, MDS finds a crucial kill. And another one for Monezi. And he gets the triple. I think that my efforts are worth it. Так как я сижу здесь на буткемпе, я прилетел в Киев, чтобы тренироваться, достигать определенных результатов вместе со своей командой, добиваться целей, идти дальше и ставить планку выше. And of course, there were the inevitable comparisons to the other blonde Slavic phenom. I think he's the next simple, I'm pretty sure. The, his reaction speed mixed with his work ethic, mixed with his genetics, mixed with his beautiful little haircut. Everything about him is just a little legend, isn't he, man? He's 16 and he literally just puts it on people's head tops and servers, man. It's so crazy. But as it turns out, Monacy wasn't going to simply follow in the GOAT's footsteps. Na'Vi already had their dream lineup in place on the main roster, which meant that Monacy didn't really have a chance to move up the ranks in Na'Vi. He has a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of motivation, a lot of potential. So this a lot of energy, and if we will not free this energy, it will ruin him, himself inside. So it's not even uh, healthy for us to have such players. So we needed to uh, either to add him, if we would add him, if we would be able to have like six-man roster, uh, but we, we can't, and so we need to uh, let him play uh, at least on tier 2 level, but now he'll play on even on tier 1 level. And so, Monacy chose to prove himself elsewhere, specifically on one of the biggest orgs in esports. I think he's a very mature player for his age, and I think if G2 were to bring in Monacy, that lineup could be absolutely insane, right? He's 16 years of age, you give him half a year to a year, and I think this guy would be the future of Counter Strike. This guy would be a guy that could potentially take G2 to the next level. Once the G2 signing officially went through in January 2022, Monacy was ready to take on the world of Tier 1 Counter-Strike as an opera for his new team. Monacy on catwalk finds the timing, 8 seconds, if he can drop the bomb it'd be everything, but it travels into the site. One on two for Monacy now. It's sacrificial, gives his position away, he wants Monacy's end goal! Did he see right under? I'm not even sure, but he gets the kill on Jax regardless, and this is looking like a great defense. Monacy alone again, one versus four. Oh, good bait out of the shot, but there's one on Catwalk. Oh, that's quick. Oh, that's quick. And another one baited out, perhaps, but Rops is moving up. Monacy's aware. 17 seconds. It's absolutely no way. Oh, he's back in the middle. No, it can't happen. Surely not. 10 seconds. He's backing off Rops. Can he catch him? There's a little peek, a little shoulder showing he's back at the bomb site. And at the very least, he's going to get the bomb plant here. Rops now out in the open. He's in a dangerous position. A little bit of a random Molotov. Misses the oh, shot in Monacy. No. The clutch of a lifetime. To survive and get to that Antwerp major. Ooh, but it's Monacy. New piece for Hooksy to work with, with the double taps and make that three. And you know, we're, we're kind of destined for the pistol ace because Monacy keeps this clean. He called big a bunch of onliners. Well, the kid plays land, goes for the Glock shots and finds the pistol ace. Despite Monacy's individual excellence, G2 as a whole were going through a transitional period, with three new additions flanking Nico and Hunter, and the team didn't gel right away. It's all on Monacy. 10 seconds left. This can't be one. He's not got time for it. Kadian will take him down, and it's heroic, making the Royal Arena to battle Liquid. 
I do want to say, you know, if you want to conclude the tournament for G2, we've seen this before, right? We've seen them get into these close quarter scenarios before where they lag a little bit, where they lose clutches that we normally see them win. We even saw a couple of miscommunications happening as well on the G2 side that allowed for Vitality to fight their way back into the game. So it's definitely something they have to look at. And I can't help but feeling that we're seeing a G2 struggling mentally as well. We've seen some good things here, but some of these maps have been really, really flat. And I think they're desperately in the need of some sort of success, some sort of achievement, some sort of, of comforting, right? Yeah. And they haven't really found it. Still, even among his team's struggles, what was undeniable was Monesty's continued growth and development as a player. And he wasn't just putting up numbers, he was doing things no one has ever seen before. Nico's deep on the site. Actually, again, probably should be dead already. He's gonna get the one kill there. Good little double for Bieri and might as well have been a triple there. And Bonacy is in a lot of trouble. He no scopes one of them. He keeps going. 10 seconds, he fakes the bomb, oh. spins around, takes down Woody, and now he's at the hunt, running up close and personal. No. Oh, what a flick! Get he it. doesn't have the time for the Surely. Punt. No, he Just can't give do it to it, him. Oh, yes. how is that possible? What an absolutely godlike sequence from Monacy. He doesn't have to move so much now. There is a Molotov on Turtle. He's going to throw it. It's not deep enough. Monacy still could have the shot. Oh, and there it is. One of the best clutches we've seen in a long, long time. That is something special. Look, I'll show you a good strategy. You're smoking G2 from this bench. Then you're coming here. For example, for example, bots are staying like this. Okay. Like this and this, right? If you aim here, nade like this. What Monacy did with CSGO Utility was revolutionary. While most of the old guard mainly concentrated on mechanics, aim, and movement, Monacy spent every day in the server, coming up with new, ingenious ways to outplay everyone else. He was pushing the game past a breaking point no one even knew existed. Counter-Strike was five years older than Monacy, but CSGO was still completely and utterly bending to his will. Nicely done, Dupree gets two players off of this. Eight seconds left, point blank, on fight! Oh, Monacy! We're on. Yes, we are. A little bit of clutch sprinkled in for an attempt at G2's first round win. No! Apex tries to jump across. Lethal mistake. You do not survive a clash versus the kid. And now Monacy gets into the pit. It's him versus Spinks. A kit on the CT side, but a white oh! up on Monacy! Like thunder! But what both Monacy and G2 needed to legitimize their new roster was a big win. Of course, the ultimate big one would be a major, something that eluded Monacy's teammate Nico for years, despite his undeniable mastery of the game. But luckily, there was another way. IEM Katowice, one of CSGO's most established, iconic tournaments. G2 came in second at the previous year's tournament, the very first one for Monacy, and were now looking to redeem themselves. And it just so happened that they hit a bit of a hot streak, winning two Blast Premier events in a row leading up to the 2023 event. They came, they saw, and they most certainly conquered, despite it being over 1,000 days, no less, from G2 winning a single map in a grand final series. Obviously, the conditions that you guys were in, extremely tough, extremely difficult, we understand that, but this is the moment that you showed to the world your best face. We hadn't seen that G2 yet. We struggled a lot, and we tried to, like, look more or uh, on our like individually uh, like games you know mm. and yeah now we are more as a team we were looking at g2 last year and saying yeah they can get wins here and there but it's never that consistency coming into 23 it has just been full of them not a single map dropped here at the groups all the lights are green if you're a g2 fan and man they're, they're gonna be rolling i am once g2 got to katowice they were ready to make that a hat trick i'm feeling amazing now i'm fully confident it gave me a lot of confidence. It gave me. How, how was the, the fire? The fire? <laughs> amazing. <laughs> amazing, guys. We'll play soon. I'm sorry. Nico gone early, and that's the smoke down, which is disrespected immediately. Honestly, though, the flash will repel the invaders back into the smoke, and loads two on the dual Berettas. Nice back from Bit. Can go either way as they charge. He's racing the bomb carrier, just trying to round the corner. He hasn't gotten to safety. He's going to go down unless he can fight his way out. Good luck. Have fun. Perfecto gone. Time's a problem here. 11 seconds. Bit with no chance. 
Did like a kill. Oh! And Minus C will take another four. G2 are in. The bomb's not, though. On that CT smoke, honestly, hard clear and a good shot to NPL. He's gotten him in. And now the two of them, JKS and Monacy, gonna try and take the whole round, take every frag, finish this map. He's cleared him. Oh, not far off. Just spotted the back. Where's the hell? Electronic gets the frag and Monacy. Oh, how is he alive? He just bounces. Oh, and that's a way to finish. Stadium. Oh, he meets Monacy. Heating up now. You can't get away from Monacy into the site. And looking to say goodnight is Tessus alone on the site. Could he really get them all? Fast as lightning. Seven bullets and a dream as G2 look to make their dreams a reality. Katowice, they've done it. Unbelievable, beautiful blend of talent on that side of the server. You can see it in their face. It must feel so good to break the curse and to do it with a prodigy like Monacy alongside for the ride. Your Katowice champions of 2023. Intel Extreme Masters, baby, it's G2. A win at Katowice meant everything for Monacy. Sure, it wasn't a major, but it changed him from a prodigy with immense potential into a proven world-class competitor. At just 17 years old, Monacy sent home contenders with years of big lane experience, including Simple himself. I don't want to say anything. I think I lost my voice already. I don't know. I'm feeling amazing. Following their big win, G2 then hit a bit of a slump, including taking an abysmal 14th spot at the Paris Major, the last one ever for CSGO. As the kid prodigy whose dreams will be crushed alongside the Kovac, and all of a sudden he peaks, he goes down. The guillotine in Paris drops on the head of the king who will never touch the crown. Down goes G2, and forward go Fnatic. But the team seems to have no plans to mess with their lineup. And even amongst all the disappointments, Monacy's performance has remained consistently impressive. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's not even a no scope. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that. Just every peak, just perfect, and also just reading where every fight's going to be coming from. Sometimes with Monacy, you're getting these really crazy flicks of why they call them the Flash. Monacy even reached the absolute top of the Face It leaderboards with 7,200 ELO at the time of this video's publication. The young opera left CSGO giants like Simple and Zaiwu in the dust. Shot, shot. Shot, shot. So if there was anyone who thought that G2's winning potential was spent at Katowice, they had another thing coming. The team's results might have slipped somewhat, but the last IEM Cologne devoted to CSGO was about to prove all the haters wrong. But a two versus four, G2 unlikely to fumble. With Nico dead, they know where he is. Hiding now in the Tetris box. Swing through, JKS dead as well, hold on! Hold on, Modesty, trying to save them. They need to be on that bomb soon. Joe Hoopsy, where's the kit? Where's the kit? Okay, we're off to the third. Their buy rounds will not last long. Back to pistols, back to pace, into B, and in your face, Modesty! Oh. Three digs in three shots, and he wants oh. every single one. Will they let JKS get away to Donut? The peak is coming in a second. The flash is great. Excellent. Oh, but now, 1v1. His shot landed, and Rob's taken down. Rain's gonna, gonna get on that bomb with a molly in front of him, but he's already defusing the shots right there. Monacy is surely in. Surely, D has D, the last to fall is G2. Manifest greatness. Comments. I don't know. Phil, thank you. It's a, it's, a, it's a good trophy. It's a good trophy. The good one. So, 
Thank you. If Katowice proved that Monacy could hang with the big boys, Cologne truly cemented the fact that Monacy was here to stay. With CS2 on the horizon, he truly represents a new generation of Counter-Strike players, ones that don't need to follow in anyone's footsteps. Even if things don't end up working out on G2 in the long run, or he simply decides to make a change, Monacy has plenty of other avenues available for the future of his career. Yeah, in my career, like, I wanted to play for Navi, like, because I just, uh, I love the organization. Yeah, like, I don't know, maybe in the future. I'm not sure. Let's see. And considering Monacy's still just 18 years old, the sky's the limit. It's so insane to see a guy, like, in his age, especially being, you know, playing it is like his. Oh, wait a second. And he knows One. fame is here, actually. Oh, it's they so smoke him. Now you just got to deal with Kicker. Imagine if Hooksy gets this kill on Apex. <gasps> oh my god, the shot There's time. They have a ramp. They can hold it. Kicker catches at least Hooksy. Monacy looking for the third time. Oh, still he got on it. his oh side. Oh my god, he got it. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, hit the sub button and ring the notification bell. For unique bite sized videos you won't find anywhere else, hit us up on our Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok.